Wells, and I'm your host, Bills. Well, just got back from camping, and I didn't want to make you guys wait too much longer, so I got right into this friggin' thing. It's all fabbed up, all mocked up, all roughed up. I got a temporary gas tank holder here, and it's just temporary. I had about a couple space plates on here, so it was a little bit bigger to stand, but I'll tell you right now, boys, girls, peoples, she's heavy. I don't know if she's gonna move or not. Kind of glad I sat down here to talk to you because by sitting down, I noticed that this bolt is almost on top of the doodad. Last thing we need is a bolt to go into the tire and stop us dead in our tracks. That would freaking suck. There, we'll go a bolt right there. I got to put some kind of, I'm gonna weld a stop on that though, because I can see what's gonna happen there. It's gonna come up loose. And then I'm gonna freaking die one day. If it even moves. Like I said, she's pretty heavy. I'm a little worried about that little 47cc engine not doing anything. Spectacular. It's gonna take a little while to get going probably. Cause I know they ride off that friggin' weight clutch. And let's just face facts. I weigh a lot. Friggin' I didn't do. All right, so that's done. So now what we should do is maybe pour a little bit of fuel in this thing, see if it friggin' runs. Bye babe, have fun. I just happened to mix this fuel, so we're good to go there. And like I said, I haven't stirred this yet, so I don't even know if it's gonna run, to be honest with you. We're gonna freaking find out here. Fill her up, Captain. Mm, all right, that should be enough. Frig, I hope we don't have to drain it. Frig, I hope it starts. Frig. Okay, so what we're gonna need is choke, which is who knows what way. Throttle? Yeah, we got throttle. Oh boy. Just the anchor, see what happens. I don't know which way you choke his voice, girls, people. Uh oh, you on or off? Can't tell. Captain. Yeah. Don't look like the fuel's going to the carburetor. What's really going on? Oh, sure is. Careful. We also need a shut off, we do. Let's uh, tighten that chain up a little bit because that's not quite tight enough. We don't want to blow some chains, you know. Hello. Where'd you go, Jimmy? You know it's on a gun. It was on a gun. Okay, now we need a 10 mil. Oh my God, there we go. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's try this back up and see if the chain looks better now. I did a pretty good job of slapping back together. I think it'll be all right once it has a load on it. So let's get going here. Crank 
I only gave it like freaking maybe I don't know half throttle. <laughs> but the steering, the, the freaking handlebars are way too short. But it's freaking awesome. Well, there we go. Just gave Dick a quick coat of black paint. We did just a flat blacker. So we'll let uh, old Dicky do there dry, and then maybe take her out for another rep. Maybe. Frig. If I can get enough guts. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this build of pocket bikes into stand-up scooters and it turned out pretty friggin' good and everything seems to work right. So I'm quite happy about that. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. It was a success it was. It runs, so it's a success. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Now I just gotta go through some camping vids for you. See if I have any in there. I did a little drone fly where we were staying, which was pretty neat. So I'll get that on there and show you. Friggin' right I will. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Enjoying their week like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. But until next time, thanks for stopping in. And you know what to do for now. What dick. <laughs>